Okay, number nine. We're trying to get that absolute value expression by itself. So we do the order of operations in reverse. So we always start with adding and subtracting if there is something to be added or subtracted. So in this case, we need to move that seven. So we subtract seven from both sides. Six times the absolute value of negative five n is greater than 30. Then we divide by six. So we have the absolute value of negative five n is greater than five. Absolute value of negative 5n is greater than 5. Now we split it into the two cases. Negative 5 is greater than 5. We don't change anything. And then for the second case, we keep it. We switch the inequality, and we switch the sign of the other side. Okay, remember that uh, <clears throat> acronym yesterday, KISS. Keep it, switch, switch. Then we solve these. Now we got to remember when we solve these, we divide by a negative number. So when we divide an inequality by a negative, that inequality is going to flip. So that's going to be n is less than negative 1. When we divide the other one by negative 5, we flip that inequality as well. And negative 5 divided by negative 5 is positive 1. So we've got n is less than negative 1. So when there's not an equal to, we put that open circle. Less than, the inequality even points in that direction. Okay, look at where the arrow is pointing when the variable's on the left side. The arrow is pointing to the left. n is greater than 1. So we put an open circle there. And the arrow is pointing to the right. Okay. Interval notation. Remember, we got negative infinity on this end, positive infinity on this end. Bless you. So we go from negative infinity until we get to negative 1. Parenthesis with negative 1 because it's not equal to negative 1. Then we start back with positive 1 with a parenthesis to positive infinity. Infinity always gets the parentheses. Um... One more time, let me remind you and show you how to check these. You pick a number in your shaded region. So let's pick 4. Let's test out 4. So 6, absolute value, negative 5 times 4, close the parentheses, plus 7. That number is supposed to be greater than 37. It most definitely is. Um, so chances are, if that worked, then we've got the right thing, but it can't hurt to check one on the left side as well. So let's check negative 2. Okay, plug in negative 2. That number is also supposed to be greater than 37, and it is. Okay, so that means we've probably got it right there. Okay, let's look at number 10. Okay, number 10. Remember, this is the one that I tried to warn you. A lot of people, they want to squish that negative 1 and the 4 together um, the negative 1 minus 4, but don't treat it any differently than you treat number 9. Okay? Just because they're beside each other doesn't mean that anything different happens. So we start by adding 1 to both sides. So we've got negative 4, absolute value of x plus 9 is less than or equal to negative 20. Divide both sides by negative 4. Absolute value of x plus 9, we divide it by a negative. That inequality has to change direction, so it's greater than or equal to 5. Split it into the two cases. x plus 9 is greater than or equal to 5. Don't change a thing. Second case, kiss. Keep it, switch, switch. Keep what's inside the absolute value, switch the inequality, switch the sign of the right side. One last step in each of these, subtract 9 from both sides. X is greater than or equal to negative 4. Subtract 9 from this other one. X is less than or equal to negative 14. So x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Put a point or a closed filled-in circle at negative 4. Good morning. Thank you.
Arrow goes to the right. X is less than or equal to negative 14. Equal to, so we put a point. Less than, we go to the left. Okay, so let's fill in our interval notation. Negative infinity to negative 14. This time the negative 14 gets the bracket. And then negative 4 to positive infinity. Negative 4 also gets a bracket. All right, a couple more just to make sure we've got it. Number 11. Start by adding 9 to both sides. 3 times the absolute value of 8x plus 5 greater than or equal to 33. Divide both sides by 3. Absolute value of 8x plus 5. We divide it by a positive number so nothing changes. 33 divided by 3 is 11. Split it into our two cases. We don't change anything. We just drop the absolute value bars. 8x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 11. Kiss. Keep it. Switch. Switch. Solve our two equations. The first one, subtract 5 from both sides. 8x is greater than or equal to 6. Divide both sides by 8. x is greater than or equal to 3 over 4, which is 0.75. Okay, the other one, we also subtract 5 from both sides. 8x is less than or equal to negative 16. Divide both sides by 8. X is less than or equal to negative 2. We divided by a positive number. So we don't flip anything. We were dividing a negative by a positive. It, it matters what you're dividing by, not what is being divided. Okay? So X is less than or equal to negative 2. So negative 2 goes down here. Less than or equal to. So we go to the left. Less than left. Okay, x is greater than or equal to 3 fourths. So 3 fourths make you a point just inside 1 there. And it's greater than or equal to, greater ends in an R. So that goes to the right. Interval notation, negative infinity to negative 2 with a bracket because it was equal to. And 3 fourths to positive infinity. Three fourths gets the bracket, infinity gets the parentheses. All right, last one. Y'all are going to walk me through this one. Okay? Y'all, not one person. Okay? All of y'all. Add nine. Thank you. Add nine. Okay? So it's less than 84, okay? Divide by 4, see, y'all know this stuff, okay? Less than 21, okay? Two cases, right? So we don't change anything, 9 minus 3 in less than 21, kiss, 9 minus 3 in greater than negative 21. Thank you. Subtract 9 from both sides. Negative 3n is less than, what, 12? Yes, we're going to divide by negative 3, so we flip the inequality. n is greater than negative 4. 
We subtract nine on the other one as well. I don't have room to show that, so hopefully we're okay with that. So negative three is greater than negative 30. Divide by negative three, and is less than, whoops, how did my less than get down there? Less than 10. Okay, so most of the ones we've been doing, we've colored the ends of the line. Is that going to be the case here? No, we are greater than negative 4, and we are less than 10. So we are in between those two values. Greater than negative 4 and less than 10. So here's our interval notation. Negative 4, 10, parentheses. Okay, we don't have two on this because we only have one piece on our number line. Make sense? See, y'all know this stuff. I don't need to show you all these examples.